what precisely does it mean when we say an argument is valid? And let me just remind you, we are never going to use valid when we're talking about a statement, right? Because statements are true and false. And we're never going to say that arguments are true or false anymore because truth and falsity isn't a property of an argument. It's a property of a statement or a proposition. Arguments have good logic. Maybe they have a factual basis. If it's a valid argument, is one that has good deductive logic. That is it's a well-formed deductive argument. Now, we need to spend a little time figuring out exactly what this means. And there are two kind of equivalent ways that uh, philosophers or logicians try to define the notion of a valid argument. And remember, we said it's, well, we are not up to the form part, but we see it deductive arguments that are valid, that are the logic is good, they're conclusive. Now what exactly does that mean? I think precisely we can define it in this way. That is, an argument is valid, if and only if, just in case, it's impossible for all the premises of the argument to be true and the conclusion false. Now notice what this saying is this saying. It's not saying that the premises are true. It's not saying that the conclusion is true. It's saying that two th it's impossible for two things to be the case if the argument's valid. It's impossible for all of the premises to be true and the same at the same time that conclusion false. It's just not a possibility. And hold off for a second, because some people get confused about what's possible, what's impossible. We're going to spend a little time in a second, next slide, trying to explain what precisely we mean by possible. But this is one way that we talk about, or we try to define a valid argument so you get a good idea what that concept is. That is, in a, in a deductive argument, when is the glue between the premises and the conclusion really solid? And it's solid because, remember, it's going to guarantee uh, it's truth-preserving. So if we got true premises, it's going to guarantee the truth of the conclusion. In other words, if the logic is really good, it can't be possible for those premises to be true and the conclusion false at the same time. And another way of, an equivalent way of stating this definition, here I call it D1A, that is an argument is valid if and only if, just in case, it's, and here it gets a little, it is necessarily the case that. That's, I'm just trying to say, remember we talk about necessity, that is the truth of those premises necessitate the truth of the conclusion. But if it's necessarily the case, and here's the important part, if, so validity is an iffy problem, property, if all the premises are true, then the conclusion of the argument is true. And notice I'm saying if all the premises are true. If you say if all the premises are true, then the conclusion's true. That doesn't mean that the premises are, in fact, true. If I said if I were seven feet tall, I would be a great center in basketball. That is true, even though I'm only five feet eight, right? I'm saying if I was really that tall, it would be the case that I'd be a good center. So the if then, the conditional, that sentence is true even though the first sentence in that isn't. So remember, its validity is this iffy property. Remember, it doesn't go into the factual content of those premises at all. But what it says is, if you got true ones, if you have true ones, you're going to end up with a true conclusion when you have a valid argument, a, v a valid inference. 
Okay, so that's the definition. And let's say, I think maybe it might be a little bit easier to understand the first one, but take my word for it. Those two definitions are equivalent, and if you're a little bit confused, don't worry about it. Let's go back. We're going to look at that first definition. We know that a valid argument is one in which it's impossible for all the premises to be true and the conclusion false. And let's now turn for a second to what we mean by impossible, because sometimes people get a little confused and they think we mean various different things.